The Candle in the Wind, the final book in T.H. White's The Once and Future King series, delves deeply into the themes of power, fate, and human frailty. This narrative centers around King Arthur's waning reign, exploring the tragic consequences of his ideals and the inevitable downfall brought about by human weaknesses. White's portrayal of King Arthur in this book is nuanced and poignant. Arthur, once the idealistic and hopeful king, now grapples with the harsh realities of his kingdom's political turmoil. He is depicted as a tragic figure, burdened by the weight of his own ideals and the betrayal by those he loves. Arthur's dream of a just and noble society, represented by the round table, crumbles under the pressures of human nature and the complexities of power. His internal conflict is palpable as he struggles to reconcile his vision of Camelot with the stark reality of his failing kingdom. The narrative is heavily influenced by the character of Mordred, Arthur's illegitimate son, who becomes the catalyst for the king's downfall. Mordred's malevolence and manipulative nature starkly contrast with Arthur's benevolent but increasingly weary demeanor. White portrays Mordred as a product of his circumstances, shaped by bitterness and resentment. His machinations and ultimate betrayal of Arthur highlight the destructive power of hatred and vengeance. Guinevere and Lancelot, central figures in Arthur's court, embody the personal and emotional conflicts that plague the kingdom. Guinevere's love for Lancelot and her loyalty to Arthur create a tragic love triangle that exacerbates the kingdom's instability. Lancelot's internal struggle between his love for Guinevere and his loyalty to Arthur adds layers of complexity to his character. Their relationship symbolized the broader theme of conflicting loyalties and the human tendency to prioritize personal desires over collective good. White's narrative style in this book is marked by a tone of melancholy and reflection. The prose is imbued with a sense of inevitability, as if the characters are caught in the inexorable tide of fate. This is particularly evident in the portrayal of Arthur, who comes to terms with his own mortality and the limitations of his power. The sense of foreboding is heightened by the presence of prophetic elements and the recurrent theme of destiny, underscoring the tragic trajectory of the story. The theme of idealism versus realism is central to the narrative. Arthur's idealistic vision of Camelot is juxtaposed against the harsh realities of political intrigue, betrayal, and human fallibility. White explores the idea that noble ideals, while aspirational, are often unattainable in the face of human imperfections. Arthur's struggle to maintain his ideals in the face of overwhelming adversity serves as a commentary on the complexities of leadership and the often painful compromise between vision and reality. The Candle in the Wind also delves into the concept of legacy. Arthur's concern for the future of his kingdom and the legacy he will leave behind is a recurring motif. The dissolution of the round table and the fragmentation of his court symbolize the fragility of human achievements and the transient nature of power. Arthur's reflections on his legacy are tinged with regret and a sense of unfulfilled potential, highlighting the human desire for lasting impact and the inevitable disillusionment that accompanies it. White's exploration of the human condition in this book is profound and introspective. The characters are portrayed with a depth and complexity that makes their struggles and conflicts resonate with the reader. The narrative is a poignant reflection on the interplay between ideals and reality, love and betrayal, and the inexorable march of time. White's ability to weave these themes into a cohesive and compelling story is a testament to his skill as a storyteller. In conclusion, the final book in the Once and Future King series, is a masterful exploration of the complexities of power, the inevitability of fate, and the frailties of the human condition. Through his nuanced portrayal of Arthur and the other characters, White creates a narrative that is both deeply personal and universally resonant. The tragic end of Arthur's reign serves as a powerful reminder of the enduring struggle between ideals and reality, and the timeless nature of human aspirations and shortcomings.